All right, so we're getting ready to set up the Avatar tank here, but we're gonna have Corey show us some quick tank maintenance on gravel vacuum and cleaning sponge filters. For sure, gotta do it anyway, why not film it? So I'm going to show you how to gravel back. I've got Mike from Aquapros here. He's going to do the Avatar tank, and I thought this video helped a lot of people, and I don't know if everyone on Steamfoss channel has seen it, and so it's basically how we're going to start a, a gravel back or a siphon. A lot of people would uh, suck on the end, get the water flowing, but there's a much easier way. So the goal, I, I always say how we're going to do it, then I demonstrate it. We've got to fill this main tube up with water, and when this blue part or green part, if you have a python, gets above the rim, the water will start flowing. Then the goal is to put it down below the rim the same exact way so that we don't trap air. To let water in, the siphon's going. If I come down this way, it's gonna catch an air bubble and stop it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. We basically put it in. We're filled with water at this point, there's no air. When this blue part comes above, the water will start flowing. And we gotta put it back down, water's flowing. And now we've got water. So if I do it incorrectly, this is what you're going to see happen though. So if I put it down in, we fill it up with water, and we lift it up, and I try and do this move, see how it stopped? That's where you go wrong. It has to go back down in at that angle. So we put it back in, we fill it up with water, we lift it over the rim, water's flowing, we put it right back down in, and we're golden. The next tip I got for you is you want to do it like you're mowing your lawn in rows and so you separate the waste and you can crimp the hose that's it's a hard initially because the hose isn't used to being crimped but once you get some soft spots in there you can work your substrate and separate all the waste and so instead of me not crimping it and then trying to get it out you know and taking a lot of water out you just crimp it and it falls right out and then you move on to the next spot and so you can be really efficient when you're moving through your tank and you won't have to take out all the water and you save time and uh, you don't have to do massive water changes. And uh, obviously I need to gravel back a little more. There's a little bit of pockets in the sand, some, some hydrogen sulfide gas is coming out. But we're gonna uh, mix up the substrate and add some different stuff for the Avatar tank. And uh, yeah, so that's those are my tips. And a lot of people on my channel found it, like they just didn't know those tips. Uh, the other one you can do, like let's say you, for some reason you can't figure out that action I just did, uh, this brings up another point. When you take it out, if you just lift it up, the stuff that's in this tube is going to fall right back in. So put your hand over the end and release the crimp and it suctions onto it. So then we have all that waste that would have gone back in. The other way that I never showed on my channel, which is kind of an old school way to do it, is you actually get the whole thing in here. And you just got to get all the air out which is better if you don't hook over that. So now you've got all the air out. You can put your thumb over the end of the hose and just lift it down into your bucket. And now you've got the water flowing. So that's another way in case you don't have luck with the way we first demonstrated. And uh, so yeah, now you've got tips. It should be a lot easier. And uh, if you don't already, get yourself a bucket, or not a bucket, but a, a trash can on wheels. Makes it super duper easy. And uh, yeah, hopefully that just revolutionized your world. Maybe I'll show you how I clean a sponge filter as well. I did that in the video and people loved it. So, uh, you know, the more people that have this, the easier your tank maintenance gets. So I'm just going to keep finishing this. And uh, now that I've done all these examples, I'm going to have to put some water in here. But uh, we'll finish that up and then I'll go to clean the sponge filter. Ready. All right, so now what you need to clean the sponge filter is a bag, bigger the better, thicker the better, you know, old fish bag. And we want to get that in there and get it around the sponge filter and get it out of the tank. If you just go and pull it, it's going to slough off a bunch of stuff. So you want to get it in there and get the air out, and get it opened up. And the goal is to knock off the least amount of gunk possible while you're trying to get it into Getting a little bit of the, there we go. Watch for pluck out and that kind of stuff. There we go. So now, it won't leach a bunch of stuff off of it. And then you can remove the top part. And now you can take it all the way out of the tank and finish kind of cleaning it. If you take this sink, you can kill off a bunch of bacteria and that type of stuff. 
So we don't want to do that. We want to use tank water plus extra water to water change. And you just clean it inside the bag. You just keep working the sponge. I did this one probably a week, week and a half ago, so it's not that dirty. Where a lot of times it'll be just brown, brown, brown water. And this is already, you know, like decently dirty. It's going to be, you know, we're going to do that at least one more time. You kind of wring out as much as you can. Go ahead and put it back in, get some more water. Pull it back out. Probably use one more squeeze here. And you just want to keep working it. That's the key. And I like the coarser sponge because it's easier to get clean, where a real fine sponge takes a lot more work. And uh, all right, so it's mostly clean. And you just got to put it back together. I'd say wring it out as much as you can. Get it back on the base. Get this back in place. And now we have a service sponge filter. We kept all the bacteria alive. And, uh, you know, the tank will basically not feel like anything happened. That's the goal. We don't want a dramatic change. We want almost no change just being stable. So, uh, you know, you don't have to do this in the same day. You can do it on different days. That's a little more stable technically. All right, so there you go. Some easy tank maintenance. I had to stand on a ladder just to be the same tallness as Bob. I'm literally <laughs> on a ladder right now. <laughs> no joke. All right, so definitely check out Aquarium Co-op. Check out the Avatar tank. It should be coming up here. Aqua Pros is here helping us. He's moseying around somewhere, but we're going to get back to working on this tank. Sweet.